Okay, so let's continue to registration. Right, now, this is a very interesting exercise uh, for you to watch because as we go through the checking out process, there will be all kinds of upsells that GoDaddy is trying to entice me with. You don't need any of them, but it's interesting to see how they do it because uh, if you're going to be selling on the internet, using upsells like this is a way of making a lot of extra money. So, what it's saying to me here is it's suggesting that I get .net, .org, and .info as well. I'm not interested in any of those. You do, really don't need to buy any of these upsells, but just take notice of how they do it. So I'm going to cl uh, click no thanks. Okay. So it's asking me to log in if I'm already a customer. Now I am already a customer, so I could just log in, but that's not going to be very helpful to you because you're not a, an existing customer. So I'm going to pretend that I'm not a customer. I'm going to set up an account in my wife's name. And it's pretty straightforward. It's first name, last name, her email address, company name, our actual address, etc. I'm going to quickly fill that in, but I'm not going to bore you with it. So I'm just going to pause this recording. Okay, I fill, filled in my wife's details. Um, she doesn't have a company at the moment, so I've left company name blank. Uh, and I click Next. Okay, now it's asking me to register for two years. Now, if you're 100% sure that you're happy with the domain names that you've bought, then registering them for two years has cost savings and is also better for search engine optimization and that sort of thing. But if you're just buying some names speculatively or just for the purposes of this exercise, or you're not sure if you know that's the niche you really want to be involved in, etc., then just buy it for one year for now. It'll uh, reduce your costs. Now, again, as I said, uh, there's lots of upsells. So you can have the domain certified or uncertified. If you haven't certified, the cost more. You just leave them as uncertified. I always do, uh, and then click next. Okay, and here are some more upsells. So you can have the standard registration, which is included in the basic price, or you can have it private registration, uh, business registration. Uh, again, you don't need any of these. Just keep it as simple as possible particularly as you don't know what domain names you're actually going to be using in future. This is just a test domain name if you like, so let's just buy the cheapest possible. Click Next. Now, it asks if you want to set up email accounts through your domain name. Again, you don't need this. We're going to do that through your hosting account. There's no need to pay extra to have email accounts added to your domain name here. I'll show you how to do that through your hosting account, which we'll come on to later. So we don't need to add that. Uh, we don't need to add hosting. Although GoDaddy do do hosting, we use a different host just because, again, they're the ones that most people tend, tend to recommend. So let's not add any hosting. We're not adding any email accounts. And we click Next. OK, so here we are reviewing a shopping cart. We've got the modern way to make money, one year. Uh, it's public. We're not paying for any additional add-ons. Make money the modern way, one year, public uh, millionaire markers of the month, how to make money on the internet. So we're happy with all that. You don't need to pay for any, any additions, as I keep saying. And here it says, order summary, continue to check out, enter promo or source code. Now, what I'm going to do is just open a new tab. So I'm coming up here and I'm clicking on... In, in Google Chrome, I click on this plus here, yours might be different. Open a new tab, go to Google, and put in Go Daddy Promo Code. And let's see if you can find some promo codes. Well, this is out of date. And if I go here, so it's 10% uh, of any purchase, $10 off $50 purchase. I'm just going to see if one of these promo codes will work for me. Okay, so enter promo code. Let's try the CJCFAT50. Apply. Yeah, so I've just saved myself six quid there. Okay, and let's continue to check out. So 
because now it's asking me to create a new account. Personal. Okay. Okay, so it's it's giving my login ID for my wife. I've put in a password, I've put in my password hint, I've put in my call in pin. What I'm gonna do is later on I'm gonna transfer these domains to my account, but I wanted to do this just so you know how easy it is to, to set up an account with GoDaddy. How did you hear about us? Continue to check out. Okay, now it's asking me to pay by credit card or through my PayPal account. It also asks about value added tax. Now, if you're not registered for that, ignore this. Uh, just put personal, but uh, mine is a business account and I do have a value added tax account number. 935-5155. I'm going to click PayPal. I need to log in here. So it's Okay, so I've now set up the PayPal account to go alongside GoDaddy. Um, because I've put VAT number in here, I think I need to put in my organization down here. Uh, I've read and agreed to the terms and conditions. Obviously, you should read all the terms and conditions. And now we place order. And obviously, here we are again. Um, this is what we call... Um, internet real estate I've placed the order uh, so GoDaddy have now gone to the sort of success page where they're now um, offering to sell me some more stuff again bear that in mind this is the same sort of thing that you will need to be doing in your internet business and I will show you how to do all this sort of thing uh, if you want me to um, carry on advising you okay so that is how you set up an account with GoDaddy and buy some domain names.